started in the online space, I realized very, very quickly that I needed to learn more skills than what I had. So when I joined uh, business, when I first got started, I started off in network marketing and what I wasn't told was that if you don't have certain skills, if you want to succeed, you're going to have to learn those skills. Now, some people are like, oh, well, duh. But the point was that I had no experience in this area. I didn't know what it looked like to build a business online. So I was coming in very, very green. What I see a lot of now is people who are sold a dream. Time freedom, location freedom, more time with your family, choose your check, uh, go on holidays, you know, build a team, work with the people that you love, um, you know, design your life, flat top lifestyle, blah, 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 okay? But I feel that there's a really big piece of the puzzle that's missing that people don't tell you. If you don't understand marketing, you're going to have to learn. If you don't understand sales, you're going to have to learn. If you don't understand client care, you're going to have to learn. If you don't understand communication or you don't have great communication skills, you're going to have to get them. So quite often I see people buying into the online space, into businesses that are done for you and automated, uh, which again I think is questionable in a lot of cases. but. What happens is they're selling you all the things that you want to hear, but missing that that's not going to be the only investment that you need to make. If you don't understand Facebook ads, you're going to have to learn. If you don't understand organic marketing, you're going to have to learn. I feel if people were a little bit more open and honest about what it actually takes to build a successful business online, then they would only be bringing people into their teams and into their businesses that 110% get it that I am going to have to continue to invest in myself and learn the skills that I need to learn in order to create the lifestyle that I want to create. So I really wanted to share with you that when I started business online, I understood that I needed to keep investing. So now I pride myself that all the time I have something on the go, whether that's a coach, whether that's a new strategy, whether that I'm learning a new skill, whatever it is, I am always, always learning. Like now, I've literally committed that tonight I'm gonna to be building out a funnel um, that has uh, upsell, downsell options on it. Nothing crazy, nothing that, you know, um, takes a degree to build, but I'm just learning other ways to continue to uh, bring products to the market or, you know, services to the market. So it's really, really, really key that when you are building a business online, that you need to be able to check those boxes. Yes, I'm really great at sales. Okay, great, but can you sell in DMs? Oh, maybe not. Cool, we'll put that down on something you need to learn. Facebook ads, do you know how to do them? Not, has somebody shown you the basics? Do you understand how to read a campaign, read the data, know how to optimize an ad? Not really, cool, put that down on your list as well. All of these things are gonna be key. Now, I'm talking to the business owner that wants to be earning 20, 30, 40, 50 and above, thousand dollars a month, okay? Because there's going to be strategies that you need to put in place to remove the hustle, okay? There does come a time that you need to remove the hustle and you do need to have strategy and systems inside your business. So if that's you, please make sure that you are looking inside your business in all areas okay and you're saying to yourself what don't i understand what parts of my business do i need to level up because there's too much pressure especially in network marketing way too much pressure people putting on their uplines to show them everything that they need to know no you bought a business you bought a franchise and it's up to you to learn but also there's a lot of pressure on the new business owner yeah, of there's things that they don't know and a lot of them don't have mentors or accountability or anybody in their corner to be like, hey, you're gonna need these things. So I just wanted to drop in and be that person for you today where I would love for you to have a look at your business, have a look at all of the areas and start making a note of the areas that you know you need to grow in you know that you're going to need to invest in. It might not be something that you're ready to do now. That's totally fine. But as long as mentally you understand that however you started your business, 
or however you got into business, whoever recruited you, whatever it looks like in whatever business structure that you are in, you must, 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 must continue to grow and learn new skills in order to reach heights that other people don't reach.